Well, save some space in your garden by growing up. We're talking trellises today, and building one is easier than you think. Our Sandra Mitchell is in the garden to show us what to do. Hey, everyone, we're back in the garden, a real garden, with our friend Nick Fitteroff, who kind of looks like somebody from ZZ Top right now. I'm actually a lot better with air guitar than I am with <laughs> string guitar. <laughs> what are we using this for today? Well, we're actually going to string up some string for a string trellis. We're over here at the Heritage Square Museum near Highland. And uh, by the way, this is their garden, and they sure can use some volunteers to come out here and help string things up. And as a matter of fact, this right here is a trellis that an aspiring actress actually made so it's really and it's great cool. we're so close to downtown the highland park is beautiful really beautiful what's interesting about this is that they have these historic homes here mm -hmm. and what a lot of people don't know is that they've replicated a lot of things that have happened back in the victorian era mm -hmm. and gardens were actually right outside the door yeah. they were the kitchen garden right? yeah the kitchen garden they weren't a million miles away or, you know in the big vast land they were right there they come out here pick a few things and go well uh, certain plants we do have to string up so what we want to do is we want to uh to do exactly that and we're going to start off with three stakes and we're not top of t-bones over here and <laughs> we want ourselves zip a, tie. a zip tie so let me do this you hold that please and i'm going to do the little zip tie over here but we're not going to take it we're not going to close it all the way we're just going to go just a little bit like that okay now if we can go back a couple of feet what we're going to do here is we're going to make a teepee out of this oh so let's open it up and see how this works mm -hmm. Oh, are we so cool or That's what? That's awesome. Now Look at can... that. Now I tightened it up and we got ourselves a TV. Now what we want to do is replicate this on the other side. Okay. So we have three more stakes. Three more. And by the way, this whole gizmo that we're creating right here, less than $20. Uh, in fact, I think it's more like fifteen dollars. I believe I got these for a buck fifty a piece okay. at the lumber yard. So Good we do deal. the same thing where we put the zip tie right here, mm -hmm. and then just a little bit. Now yeah. go ahead and open that up. Gotta have enough wiggle room. Yeah, look at you. You're a master TP. I'm a TP right. builder. Look at that. All right, and then we're gonna tighten this up again. Okay. Now what we want to do is. We want a cross member over here. Okay. So take this cross piece mm -hmm. and, and put it right on top. You put it on part of your like teepee that? and I'll put it on part of my teepee. Okay. Oh, that's cool, Nick. Now we have an infrastructure that's going on over here. And if we would, if we want to really strengthen this up a little bit, you can get your zipperini tie. Okay. I'll get mine. And just anywhere okay, to kind of tie this together. thing all together. And now we can have gale winds of around five miles an hour come by and not have to knock this thing over. Hmm. Isn't this really cool? This Look is this. very cool and so oh. fast, easy. Yeah, yeah, so fast and so easy. Now what we want to do is we want to string it up. Okay. okay? So here we, here we want to do, take this and take it all the way to the end over here and find some place like about this far and take one of these and tie that together. Just tie it and just tie like a that? little knot. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to tie mine over on this side. Now we could do it this way, the way that we're doing it here, or what we can do is just tie it on just like this. Huh? Nothing fancy, do a double little hitch knot right here. Boom, it's done. Or what we can do is like this. If you could uh, tie that one more time over there, we'll do it a little faster. And what we'll do is just wrap it around and tie, you're going to have to tie your end. Okay. Just like you did before. So you're going to wrap it like this, and then I'll wrap it around like this, come down, and then I'm going to wrap it again around here. And then we're going to take oh, it your okay. way. So you see what's happening over here? We're starting to make a little trellis like effect. And then uh, you'll tie it there, we'll tie it here, and then from here, we're going to go straight up to here and vice versa. Or if you want, if you really want to do this kind of weird, you don't want to mess with that. Bungees. Get some <laughs> bungees. Why not? Here, take a bungee right there. Put it on this first one. Okay. Right there. And you can go like this. You could bungee this whole thing up just like that. The plants will grow right up on this. You tie them down to there, it doesn't get any better than that. So all of your plants that are kind of stringy, like string mm -hmm. beans, for instance, right. will grow in here great. So if anybody wants any more information, come visit us at thingsgreen.com or visit us on Facebook. That looks nice. It's colorful, too.
You're watching KCAL 9 News on this Saturday morning. We'll be right back.